and welcome back to yet another awesome electric finger style lesson here on Lick and Riff in which we're gonna explore the one finger funk. It's super fun, it's super simple and you can just take this and make it completely your own in no time. Now last month I made a lesson on this on acoustic. So you wrote me and asked me if you could play it on electric as well, and the answer is a resounding yes, a funky yes. It goes something like this. And that's just the basics. That's just the basics of it. You can elaborate on this further and we are going to explore this. So one finger, it's just one finger, it's just a bar. And I chose the fifth fret as my home base. And all I'm doing is one of two rhythmic ideas. I'm either playing the chord and then slapping, okay? Now on electric, you slap really softly. You don't really hit the strings as you would on acoustic. Um, now I'm playing strings two, three, four, and six. Or if I'm not playing the chord, I'm sliding, okay? From a fret below. Now, if I'm doing one, then my next move would be to play the other. So I'm either sliding, slapping, and then playing the chord, or I'm playing the chord, slapping, and then sliding. Or I'm playing the chord twice, sometimes. That's all I'm doing. I am alternating between a slide into the chord or playing the chord. It's as simple as that. Now, the cool thing about minor seven chords, there's a kind of magic to minor seven chords in that they can connect to one another randomly, completely at random. And there's basically no good explanation as to why this is. It's just a fact of music. And it's the same with major seven chords, by the way. Major seven chords and minor seven chords connect to one another randomly. But major seven chords are not funky. Minor seven chords are. So what I'm doing is I'm playing the minor seven chord anywhere I want. And then I just lead to it any way I want. So I can jump three frets up, three frets down, and then go back chromatically. Now you can also slide down. If you want to get more sophisticated, you can play bass chord, bass chord, or create a bass line of any sort. As long as you, it rhymed, uh, as long as you go back to that original chord, everything works. See, completely at random, completely random. 
Now, there is a way to create even more sophisticated sounds, and that has to do with the standard tuning. You're still playing just one finger, just a bar. Now, um, if you're playing strings two, three, four, and six, you get a minor seven. If you're playing strings three, four, five, and six, you get this chord. This chord, in case uh, you're not aware of this, uh, the standard tuning is a chord. The standard tuning is a chord. It's E minor 7 add 11. But the 11 is a bass note. And that's why it doesn't sound good when it's in the lower register. The 11, the E minor 7, the add 11 would be A, okay? But that would create sus. That would create E sus. So if you add the 11 as a low A note, it really adds the 11, but then it doesn't sound good. Unless you take it higher. See, it creates much more sophistication. It creates an E minor 7 add 11 sound if you're playing strings 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, I must tell you that playing it below the 7th fret doesn't sound too good. Playing it below the 7th fret doesn't really work. And that's why I'm playing it higher and then going down, and then I go back to playing strings two, three, four, and, and six. Two, three, four, and six. Now, if you're courageous, you can play strings two, three, four, and five, but then you're creating a completely different harmony, a completely, completely different chord. You're creating a nine sus four chord. Nine sus four. Okay, it's a, it's a ninth chord. with a sus4. That's the sound you're creating. So it's no longer a minor 7 chord. That's no longer a minor 7 chord. So just be, you know, just cherry pick it. Okay, you know, just play it once. Choose a place and just, just play it once in there. The rest of the time just play the minor 7. You see, it doesn't really create a funky sound. It's not really a funky sound. Um, but it's, it's an option. Um, now, the E string can be used anytime you want. Anytime you want to play it, just play it. Anytime you want to play the E string to just sprinkle it in there for variation and to just uh, refresh the sound or create a counterpoint question and answer thing, just play the E string. You can play it alone, you can play it with the chord, you can do whatever you want. Uh, the one finger, finger style funk. The one finger, finger style funk. The OFFF. -F -F. Uh, the OFF. Um, so yeah, um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Have fun.